Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Haiku the Robot. This is a game I played the demo for a bit ago. It was a Metroidvania and it was very cool. We play as an adorable little robot. So, let's go ahead and hop in here. 200 years ago. Apparently Vegeta did his final flash 200 years ago. Apocalypse is the eye of a needle through which we pass into a different world. George Zabrowski. Okay, we got some little critters hanging out. I don't know if this is going to be the demo level that I played or what, but I really remember liking uh, the bit that I played. I think I did like one boss or something. I'll probably recognize the boss as soon as I see it. Okay, a giant door that we possibly need to open at some point. Haiku. Wake up. Here we are. I gotta wake up. I'm pressing all the buttons, but nothing is happening. Okay, there we go. We're getting undone. Very slowly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm alive! It just took a bit to unplug me. Alright, cool. We have our, uh, X for attack. Uh... Oh, slide past enemies. Okay, so we got a dash. It does seem like we're, uh, invincible during that dash as well. Which will be very, very helpful for boss fights and stuff. Could I have dash jumped that? Okay, you can't... Well, no, you can dash jump. Oh my, okay, I have a limit on my dash meter. I can't do it that much. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I could have dash jumped maybe and gotten to that. Eh. It was down to heal and save. Does that use like a meter or something? Oh god, so our save is also our heal, like Ori. Oh boy, that's gonna be bad for me. I was notoriously awful at, uh, Ori's save system. Ooh. Secret. Got a bunch of, uh, nuts and bolts there. So do we have a, uh, we do have a map. Of course we do. It's a Metroidvania. Ooh, yeah, that's a Metroidvania-ass Metroidvania map. Okay. Uh, down to heal and save. It won't let me do it, so I'm guessing I have to actually be hurt? Yeah, I'm pressing down on the D-pad, nothing's happening. I don't even see, like, a little we're saving icon coming up. So maybe I do legitimately have to be hurt before it'll work. Can't get through there yet. There's another path up there, but... Whoop. I can't get out of there yet. Or I can't get up there yet. Die, nuts and bolts and screws. Ow. Okay, now can I heal? Oh, it must have been in that, in that special room. There must have been something there that allowed me to heal. I thought it was just like Ori's system where we just press it? Adjustable wrench. Hold RB while on the ground to heal. Okay. Interesting. We can just heal ourselves just sitting here? Okay. Yeah, that must have been like a special room I was in or something. Let's uh, look at the map. Hmm. Yeah. I guess that's how it works. I'm not sure. There must have been, because the, the prompt was up for quite a while, and I pressed down and nothing happened, but I might have needed uh, to be standing at a very particular thing. Oh well. We shall figure it out. Boom, boom. Looks like some sort of old lock. Okay. Yeah, it must have been something I needed to interact with, because uh, 
Yeah, when I press down on that, down is also the interact button. So, let's keep referring to the map here. Died. Okay, you're charging one. Ow. Let's go ahead and wrench ourselves. Gotta get big wrenches. Oh, this costs uh, money to do. Uh, or at least we drop currency whenever we do it. Gotta remember to use my dash more in combat as well, so I can go ahead and get used to that. Okay, we can jump higher than I think. Uh, nothing to really do here. Okay. Over this way. Boom, boom, boom. Hello, giant burb. Burb. And about this- yeah, no, you're the same size as me. You're a pretty big burb. Oh god, I hate flying enemies. At least my, uh, weapon has a pretty good sweep to it. So you're not the hardest thing in the world to, uh, actually attack. Hmm. I hate that all your currency keeps falling down the pit, though. Oof. Heal again. Okay. Luckily my currency landed over here. Who, gets, who, who put all these nuts and bolts here? Hanging, hanging like that? Weird. Uh. Someone that wanted to give me treasure for finding the, uh, secret. Uh, I think I hit that. Ooh. Okay, big drop. Yeah, I think I, uh, hit that. I'm not sure if I actually did damage to it or not. Or just bounced off. It looks like one of the ones I can damage. Bang. No, that was me hitting that. Maybe dash jump will get me over there? Ow. No. Okay, I clearly hit it there and nothing happened. I thought it was one of the pillars I could break like we ran into earlier. But it, uh, doesn't seem like the case. Yeah, there's a door on the other side of it. That's a place we come out of later and kind of open the way to. Alright. Let's refer to that map a little bit more. Yeah, okay, that's a totally different zone. Okay. Well, let's go right here, and yay, this is that area where I saw the thingy. Rusted key. Now there was a door. I don't remember where that door was. We ran into one. Let's see, is this where, um, the area where it said I could save and heal was? Right up here? Yeah, I want to say this was the room, right? Might be wrong, though. Let's just not go back that way yet. Let's just keep going down. Because, yeah, right now I don't totally understand how the uh, save system works, which is uh, not good when I uh, am LPing it. Bop. Hit the tire. There we go. Okay, there must have been a, uh, a door or something back here. They could open. I remember seeing one that looked like it had a keyhole or something. Ow. I don't remember going this way. Didn't need to... Whoop. I wanted to heal. That's RB, not RT. Uh-huh. There we go. Fortunately, it seems like the door isn't uh, marked on my map or anything. Oh, I'm overheating because I dashed too much. Okay, yeah, this is the key spot I was thinking of. Cool. Alright, uh, use a rusty key? Yeah. What is that, the Borderlands symbol? Like, on its side, the anarchy symbol? Hello. I am your death. Uh-huh, more of these things hang- Ooh. Hi, merchant. My name is Pinion. I was just in the area checking up on an investment opportunity. What is your name? Hmm, not one for words, eh? I do like a robot who keeps to themselves. Spare parts are hard to come by, my friend. If you're not careful, one can get carried away, spending them all on repairs. If you're having difficulty saving up, I suggest summoning a gold crest to bank some of your spare parts. Here, use this while at a perch station to summon a gold crest. Perch station. So this. Okay, yeah, I probably walked, like, right past something that looked like that. There we go. That's how we... Okay. Cool. Deposit spare parts. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, that's our save point and also how we bank. Probably heals us, too. Cool. 
Don't worry, my friend. Your spare parts won't disappear. You will always be able to access them when purchasing from vendors. I'll see you around. Okay, cool. Thank you for that tutorial. Now I know how, uh, out saving works. Thing, thing. Very, very hollow nighty little robot game, which is one of the main reasons I was interested in it. Just a good old post-apocalyptic Metroidvania world. Or search action genre, if that strikes your fancy. Oh, I know, this is a save point. Okay. Okay, so this is different than, um, what we ran into up here. Okay. Yeah, so I just walked right past one of these, I guess, earlier, and then, uh, I saw the prompt for press down the heel, uh, and save, and I was like, wait, where? Must have been the case. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Yeah, the nuts are the chargey ones. Out of here, dork. And slushy. There we are. Boom, boom. Bang, bang. Ow! Stupid tires. They bounce so hard. Okay, we can go up. But we go up first. Let's see what we got up here. I need an attack damage increase. Those little uh, nut enemies take too much damage. Uh, or screws, rather. These guys are the nuts. Bang. Okay, we're already back up to 57 currency. I'm trying to keep an eye out for secret rooms. I found one, basically, so far. Oh, this is... This is the first boss fight. I remember this. Um... Yeah. This was in the demo. Okay. Hi. Hello? Okay. Yeah. I remember dying to this boss. Okay, should have dashed there. I remember dying to this boss a uh, fair amount in the demo. Uh huh. Okay, you're coming again? Yeah. Yeah, I remember not doing a very good job against this boss in the demo. Uh, whoop. So far, so good, though. Your attacks seem pretty basic and incredibly easy to dodge. Okay, I should have dodged a little bit sooner there. Uh oh, phase two. Uh huh, phase two. Whoop. Whoop. Uh huh, okay, damn it. I didn't know you were gonna do that that soon. That was my bad. Ow! Contact damage got me. Contact damage, contact damage. You are my worst enemy, contact damage. Oh well. We did alright, and now I understand a bit more about what the boss is expecting of me. That was my first bit of real combat. Got these stupid enemies to bounce. I hate you. What even are you supposed to be? A tire is not a machine. Why are you bouncy? Alright, let's just get back up here. Luckily, I didn't lose that much currency, it seems. It's interesting that you don't uh, deposit your currency at the same place you deposit, or you uh, heal and save at. That's a interesting one. Damn it. RB and R uh, RT and RB, I keep getting them mixed up. Yeah, I maybe could have healed in the middle of that fight, but I was thinking to myself that it takes too long to heal. I was like, that'll never work. But maybe I should try it. If I need to. Uh, damn it. I'm, cause, let's see. Let's, let's test something really quickly. Okay, so, yeah, you do have to be pressing, um, the, uh, oh, I was still overheated. Damn, that overheat takes a long time to go away. I'm trying to, ow, learn things here. Um, you do have to be, like, facing the direction that you want to dash when you dash. You can't just, like, I can't be running to the left and then press right really quickly and dash that way. Doesn't seem, I, my character has to actually be facing that direction. Okay. Alright, I was just trying to learn some things there. 
And I think we've learned it now. I really wish my, my dash meter would fix itself. Because I just can't dash. Or I can only dash once because I've got my meter too high now. Yeah, see, I couldn't dash there. Shit, dash meter, go down. I guess healing fills it up too. Okay, let's just stop trying to heal for a little bit. And just uh, let our meter kind of repair itself here. Yeah, managing my meter is hard. My god. Okay, never mind. I just think we're gonna not be able to heal. Damn. Uh, okay. Wow. Oof. Really, really manage your dash as well, or you are just gonna get boned where you don't cool down fast enough. And, uh, you can't dash anymore. Interesting. I've never, uh, played a game that limited my dashes that hard. Also, let's, um, take damage, and I want to test something. So, does this actually... So does this... Okay, yeah, see, healing does build your, your heat meter as well. Okay, so I can't just dash willy-nilly like I can in other games. We do have to actually manage that dash meter a little bit. And, uh, healing does fill it up as well, so we have to watch that too. Okay. We're learning how this stuff works. I probably almost beat it the first try, funnily enough. I probably got pretty close. Alright. Yeah, so once you start laughing is when you're about to do the dash. So we gotta... Watch out for that. You laugh and then you do it. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Uh-huh. Manage our meter. Yeah, so if we overheat, we're just boned. Pretty much. Like, overheating sucks. Get out of here with your iframes. Uh-huh. Okay, let's get over here. Uh-huh. Get some cheeky hits in there. Okay, there's the- yep. Yeah, you need a little bit of spacing, or else you'll just turn around right into the boss's face when you try to dash away. I think we've got it, though. This may be a no-hit run here. Alright. Here comes the dash. Bang, bang. Get out of the way of those. Uh-huh. There we go. Yeah, I was super close that uh, first time, I think. I think I got crazy, crazy close to winning then, but I just barely lost. Alright, we did it though. I need to find a, uh, another save point though. Somewhere. Ooh, magnet. What does this do? Electromagnetism. Hold A to jump while on a wall. Okay, we got wall jumps. So... There we go. It works exactly how you would expect. Alright, cool. I'm happy about that. Kind of rub my face on some walls and stuff to make sure I'm not... ...missing anything. Okay, that one we can't jump on. It's in the distance, I guess. Ah, here's another save point. Good, good. You love to see it. I really need one of those perches, though. Um... Okay. Whoop. I thought I was. Whoop. I thought I was still jumping, and that second time I walked, both and my jump prompts didn't go off. My controller gonna give me trouble again. This thing's going to annoy the hell out of me. Okay, there we go. This area seems very, very annoying to get through. Hello. Yes. Right there. Ooh, that's a secret. That's a secret. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. That's just a safe area in case you fall. What about this? Okay, nothing. It looked like it could be one, too. Uh... Do I want to destroy these? Map updated. Oh, it's like a- it's like a jammer for the map. Oh, that's an interesting way to handle it. You don't get the maps like you do in, uh, other things. You unjam your map, and that reveals it. Okay, that's neat. Good bouncy balls. I hate these things. Okay, up we go. 
these guys really remind me of the, the little dudes in uh, Hollow Knight, the little bugs that just kind of creep around on a block like that. Oh yeah, this place. Hey, we made it full circle. Does it not um, mark map rooms? I guess not, huh? I guess it does not mark map rooms on the map. That'll be hard for me to, or map rooms, uh, save rooms. That'll be hard for me to uh, remember where I can save. Doesn't seem like there's any really landmarks on the map at all. Except for boss rooms, it seems. It shows me that. Okay, so there's a few different directions we can go now. We can go to the bottom and go left or right, or we can go to the right and up a little bit. I think I want to go all the way to the bottom. I would have to go all the way back around there to do that. Let's just go straight to the right. Out of my way, dorks. Owie. Stupid Roomba. How dare you. Oh, I've got to heal again. Yeah, healing in a boss fight seems possible, but... It basically fills up an entire one of your meters, so you can get in a lot of trouble really, really quickly if you do that. That boss fight was a good time to kind of learn how everything works and uh, everything. I would much rather learn it on the easy first boss than be confused later on on harder bosses. And that was a good, very good, very, very good time to learn it. Alright, stack of tires. Must be what you idiots are. Just tires. Annoying. Very, very annoying set of tires. Alright, well now I can get up here thanks to this. Ah, they bounce so quickly. Before I can uh, swing again. Maybe I should just hit them and then dash immediately so I can dash right through their uh, attack. Another boss fight? Oh god. Already, huh? Ew. Why do you look so nasty? Uh, okay, so you shit out these guys. Oh god. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Bang, bang. Is this all you shoot out is these guys? Is that the entire boss fight? You just occasionally shoot out more? Uh huh. Oh god, you're overflowing the screen with them. I hate it. There's so many. Uh-huh. Yep. Whoop. Boom, boom. I don't think I'm gonna get uh, opportunities to heal here. Is that it? Oh boy. Okay, well that was scary. But we did it. Whew. I like the little pop sound it makes when you heal. So, I didn't really get any currency from you. That is another boss fight down, though. What do you have over here? Heart piece? I think that's a heart piece. Um, it will tell me. So, we haven't read these. Kill switch sword. A sharp-edged metal chip used to dispatch robots. A few of its components are missing. Use spare parts to repair. Use near a uh, perch station to summon a gold crest. They will store your spare parts. And health capsules contain vital oil, which makes machine heart run smoothly. Click three to increase maximum HP. I thought it was going to be four. Well, isn't that just dandy? Cool. So, head on over here. So that was just a boss fight hiding a uh, heart piece. Nice. Alright, I need to get back to a save point. The next one we find is probably when I'll uh, go ahead and end things off. Whoop. Oh, I didn't even realize I could enter this when I walked past it earlier. Hello. Oh, hey. You don't look possessed like the other machines out there. Limerick, the detective. You're very small, though. I'm sure it won't take long until you turn. Look, I've been doing some investigating, and it seems that these contraptions have been put here on purpose to disrupt machine programs. This one looks destroyed, but my map is still blocked, so that means there's another one around here somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, you're talking about the jammers. Yeah, this one definitely looks destroyed. Okay. So you're just explaining to me how the uh, map stuff works. I gathered that, but uh, it's good to get some confirmation. 
and the fact that there can possibly be multiple that you have to destroy in an area. Yeah, I can't think of any game I've ever played where it's like that, where your map is specifically jammed and you have to fix it. Um, yep, let's just go this way. I would like to find the other jammer over here. Ow. Damn it. I was already moving and that thing dropped in. Yeah, having to manage my... Like, this game has a stamina meter, but it's... Damn it. It's so much harder to manage than the stamina meter and a lot of other stuff, I find. So before... Yeah, I can go down there and get some stuff. Eh, let's wait on it. Let's just go to the right and see if we can find whatever is jamming our signal. Ow. Stupid thing. I hate these things. They annoy me greatly. Nothing down there. Alright, I'll just circumvent you. Ooh, bunch of currency. There better be a uh, gold purse hanging out around here. Cause I'm gonna need to bank this stuff, please. Also, uh, they, they did say, they did confirm for me that my stuff's never... My money will always be safe with the gold perch. It's not gonna be stolen. This isn't Hollow Knight. In that regard. <laughs> I love Hollow Knight, but, uh... That stupid jerkish bank, man. Boom, boom. If they have a- if they try to have a, uh, bank in Silk Song, I will- I will be so suspicious of it. I saw that falling. I will, like, refuse to use it. Ah! Oh, is this just me getting my currency back? I think so. I think that's me knocking my own currency off the tree. Possibly. Let's see. If we do that, I got five back. Uh, 463? No. So give me that. Five more. Okay, yep, yep, that's totally what I'm doing. I'm knocking my own money off the tree. Okay. Now we just need a save point. Please. I would very, very much enjoy a save point. Man, we're deep in this place, too. Hi. Hello there, little one. Have you been seen the train recently? Strange, it doesn't usually take this long to come around. I wonder what's holding it up. I own a shop compartment on the train. I got off to look for new items to sell, and now I seem to be stranded here. Guess I'll just have to wait. I haven't had many customers lately anyway. Rusted key, or a map sweeper, automatically sweeps the local area for any obstacles the user has to overcome. Ooh, I think I would rather have that than the key. Right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this. It'll tell me where the map is, where the map jammer is. Uh, so do I have to equip it or something? Um, map sweeper. Chips, there it is, yeah. Yep, there we go. Oh, at a repair station. Damn it. Okay, I still need to find a repair station. Well, that is, uh, most of my money. I'll, uh... Okay, there's one. It's up there. Okay, maybe this won't be as useful as I thought. Probably for areas where I'm not so close to where the jammer is. Boom. Hello. Uh... Huh. There we go. Yeah, the stamina meter, like, regions so slowly in this. Boom. Boom. Okay, well, at least we have found a smorgasbord of, uh, currency. You kind of bounce off enemies in this, too. So that'll be annoying to deal with. But not the biggest deal. Bang. And bang. And bang. There we are. Cool. Alright. Okay, we're back up here now. Cool. Uh, wasn't there a save point over here? Somewhere? Isn't this, like, where I got the tutorial? Um, I'm gonna go this way. We'll go back into that other area and explore it some more later. But, what all was up here? Now that I have, uh, the ability to wall jump, maybe there'll be new stuff over here that I could get? You always want to return to the scene of the crime in these games. Oh yeah, it's gonna trip me- it's gonna trip me up so much that I can't just dash whenever I want to. 
because of how slowly my stamina fills back up. Yeah, because it fills up fast. If there's something that increases my stamina bar, that's going to be something I need ASAP. Infinity Edge. Okay, so we have two chips already, which are basically like badges or medals. Uh-huh. Secret? No. Man, I really need another save point. Like I said, if I knew where they were on the map, it wouldn't be so bad. I don't think I can get into that. Yeah, it specifically has that little thing there, so you can't just wall jump up to it. Yeah, if I knew where the uh, save points were on the map, it wouldn't be that bad, but I can't see them. As far as I can tell, at least. Maybe they totally are visible, and I'm just not noticing it. Uh... Huh? Hello. Aha, greetings. The name is Rusty. I came to Arcadia to explore its greatness, but it's not the utopia I pictured. You look a bit lost. No problem, though. It's all part of exploring. Let the path forward be dictated by your own curiosity and sense of adventure, and you'll be fine. Here, take these handy little markers. They will record previously vis visited repair stations, yes. In case you're short on spare parts and need a place to repair. Hell yeah. Oh my god, thank you. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I really, really appreciate that. I was- <laughs> the problem I was just talking about has now been solved. Okay. So I could walk all the way back to that repair station down there. Um... I didn't realize I was so close to one before. At this point, maybe I should just find another one, though? I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's get out of here, and I'll go hit that repair station up. So we can go ahead and just end the first episode off here. Been a very, very fun game so far, I've gotta say. I've quite enjoyed it. It's basically everything I expected. Based off of the demo, so... Yeah, it'll, it'll scratch my Metroidvania itch that basically never goes away. Ever. It is ever-present. And it's got a cute little post-apocalyptic world, which is always fun, too. Alright, so we did that. Let's go ahead and equip our, uh, chips, why don't we? Equip that one there. So we have green, red, and blue. Sharpens the user's sword, granting them a 10% chance to deal critical damage to opponents. That's quite good. I wonder if these are the only three chip slots we're ever going to get. But alright, so there we go. It's the end of the first episode. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Haiku, and I'll see you next time for some more.